Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda Lee, and today I'm going to be taking you through my fitness journey, just cutting straight to the cheese. First of all, this is not your regular fitness journey, I suppose. I know there are a lot of transformations on here, maybe from a year to, you know, a few months. This is not that. I am passionate about fitness. I have a goal to go on and become a nutritionist, and I've set up an array of pictures for all of us to look at so I can explain a bit of where, it's windy outside. I'm sorry if you can't hear me, but I'm explaining a bit of where that passion came from and show you the roots of how I've transformed along the way. So let's get started. This picture is from 2011. I am with my little brother. We have a cute little hot dog fingers and we are about to go play our community league basketball game. Fun fact, I quit every single sport except for one of the ones we'll get to later on. It changed my life. I'm so excited to share that part of my life with you guys. Anyways, community league basketball, community league softball, I quit all of them. My parents told me that they would no longer buy me any sports equipment until I proved to them that I had found a sport that I was ready to commit myself to. So I got a little chubby. Fast forward, this picture is in 2012. That crow is cheering me on because look at how cool I am. MMA changed my life. Trained at MMA for about five years, you know, give or take. And it taught me self-discipline. It taught me self-worth <laughs> to be honest there are so many things that i could ramble about about the experiences that i took or what i took away from mma so i was getting my yellow belt and you guys see how much i was sucking in i was like <gasps> i was so nervous because i was like i just want to be and it did not work out i'll tell you right now i'm still not but i feel I love myself. I might look like a bird chicken nugget, but I still love myself. And I no longer suck in that hard. You see me holding this? Do I look like I'm sucking in? No, I'm ready to be kicked in the gut. Come at this. Is 2014. I will tell anyone and everyone if you've seen my last prep video or my last study vlog, I prepped a chili and I got a lot of people talking to me about how I eat a lot of beans. I love beans. I am a bean. I am a bean. I am obsessed with beans. That is a bowl of baked beans to my left. Beans and Dr. Pepper. That was that was the moment we're having there. Not too much going on. I mean, let's keep on going. This is from 2014 as well and this shirt made this shirt made me feel like the cutest person in the whole entire world. I had been fighting for how many years? I had been fighting for a couple years and I just I felt like I was losing a little bit of weight, so any shirt felt good at that moment. After that picture was taken, I went on a 28-day road trip with my Namal, rest in peace, and it was the most beautiful, eye-opening, just all around, I don't even know, I'm speechless. I don't know how to, <laughs> my Namal was the biggest adventurer out there, and we spent 28 days camping almost every single night. We drove to Canada. We drove through Alaska. We drove the entire Alaskan highway, which is very, very long, if you don't know. And it was just beyond amazing. Again, I'm just speechless. I don't even know how to describe how great it was. And we would go to grocery stores so we wouldn't have to go to restaurants all the time because 28 days is a very, very long time. And I began to fall in love with the grocery store, that's so weird to say, but I began to fall in love with the colors of the fruits. I began to fall in love with looking at all of the amazing dairy-free, lactose-free options, and my enamel was my biggest motivator. And she would act, she'd make fun of me, but she would help me find things. She helped me find coconut water. She, it was her idea, just, I always know, and I always know that Namal's on my side. So this was whenever we first got back, and I had been talking to Namal about this for so long, and I finally got the opportunity to try it, and it was so, so good. If you don't see my, my acrylic nails should tell you that I was really feeling myself when we got back. So 2016, I thought my avocado toast was the frick then, but take a, mm -hmm. mm. Mm. <laughs> and I got really passionate about, I'll just put pictures here all over of all the pictures I've taken of food. I am so in love with creating amazing, healthy, beautiful things for our beautiful bodies. It doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you're doing right now, or it doesn't matter the effort you've been putting in so far. You should recognize right here in the now that you are where you're supposed to be and you are your best, most beautiful self today. That's why you deserve to take the steps to being. Fast forward, later in 2016, I had finally felt prepared enough to go into my cage 
fight. I had never been in a cage fight. I had wanted to take plenty of time to get everything down. If you've trained MMA, you know it takes a very long time to not only build the skill, but the confidence. For me, it was a confidence thing. If you're triggered by numbers, go ahead and skip through this. I was 152 pounds and I had to be in 145 weight class. So I was working my butt off <laughs> to get this weight down. Mind you, I was still not in the healthiest mindset. I was not doing it the right way. I attribute, uh, I attribute that a lot to what I'm about to tell you. I decided to join the soccer team so I could get my weight down. I thought, you know what, I'll be running. It'll be the easiest, fastest way. My second game ever, I destroyed my knee. Well, I, my knee got destroyed. I wanna give you a good demonstration. I hope you can understand. If these are my legs, I'm facing you, right? This is my knee, this is my knee. With my left knee, I had stepped out to guard somebody from going across. I didn't realize they just weren't gonna stop. So they plow through my leg and buckle it in that way. And then a dog pile happens and buckles it in this way. I partially tore the MCL, I completely tore my ACL, I permanently dented my tibia, I fractured my femur, and later on in the surgery, they found that I had chipped pieces off of my femur, the hardest bone in the body. Let me tell you, mind you, I'm very bad with bones. I've broken both of my ankles. I've broken my elbow. I've broken, I think I broke both of my elbows. I've broken my wrist. It's, it's a long, it's a long haul. I rode the bus back because I'm a savage. My mom picked me up that night. We knew it was bad. So we were just going to go straight to the orthopedic because again, stuff for broken bones. We knew the ER wasn't worth our time. Whenever I got to my orthopedic, he basically told me right after they got the x-ray results that, so... We know you like fighting, but it's not gonna happen anymore. The pivoting, it's just, yeah, not gonna work out. So I was devastated. I knew that my fighting career, I had, y'all, I wanted to go to UFC for a little bit. I was really dreaming, dreaming. I felt shattered because again, I had also quit all of those sports. And this is the first thing that had really helped me embrace the movement aspect of health in a positive way. Not just forcing myself to run and hating every second of it because nobody likes to run. Well like to run i'm sorry runners i know you're out there track stars but fast forward to early 2017 maybe late 2016 i was about four months post-op and not where i needed to be to perform any kind of right exercise at the time and i decided i wanted to go ahead and try to get back into mma i was determined i had already mourned it but i convinced myself that maybe i could try a little bit here's a video of the first time i went back So it didn't go very well, let me just say that. I gave myself patellar tendonitis, which if you don't know, your patella is your kneecap. I went to my physical therapist the next Tuesday and he looked at me and asked what I had done to his leg. So <laughs> these videos are from 2017. I wanted to share these because I thought they were super, super cool. I'm so proud of myself and let me just, let me just show you. Okay, so today is day one. Ooh, that looks right, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, today is day one of my fitness journey, a uh, fitness journey, I can say. Um, my real fitness journey. I've been doing kickboxing and everything. I've been trying to be healthier for the past few years. Um, it's been on and off, but uh, it is August 2nd, 2017. I am about 100 and like 158, 160, I think, around, around there. My goal is to build muscle and look better. I mean, that's always a plus, but fast forward to 2018 I am going to college I moved to Bethel University for those who don't know I currently live in Nashville Tennessee Bethel University is about two and a half to three hours away from Nashville so there was a gym on campus and the calf was phenomenal whenever I was at Bethel University I was told that the cafeteria was so much nicer than it is now here is an example this is a sweet potato with some chicken and then some rice with corn that was a good little blend and then some greens this was an everyday occurrence around dinner time this was a, a dinner meal at this point I was going to the gym essentially every day and I mostly focused on fat loss Fast forward to 2019, I moved back. I have the opportunity to get my associate's degree online for free, very, very exciting, which how crazy is that, that I was able to do that in 2019, early 2019, before any of this happened. It, oh, thankful that happened to me, wild. I ended up getting a job at a juice bar. In 2019, I also ended up working in a juice bar and that was one of the best experiences of my whole entire life. It was an organic juice bar and I learned so much about holistic health through that juice bar that it really motivated me and I almost switched my degree to holistic health. 
Well, at the juice bar, I learned how to make so many cute, snazzy recipes. Again, it's always been a passion of mine to make things look beautiful and I am so, so grateful every day that I had the opportunity to work there and I'm grateful to have moved on to bigger and better things as well. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad you're here. Okay. Through Clean Juice, I found so many new outlets that I would never have even thought possible to bring me the same satisfaction and fulfillment that MMA brought to my life. This picture is from a Core Power Yoga Studio. One of my regulars at the Clean Juice actually was an instructor at this yoga studio and she gave me a free trial. So I went and it was absolutely amazing. This was my Instagram profile picture for a very long time. Another place I got to try was called the Sculpt House and that was the most difficult workout I have ever done in my life. The Sculpt House, for those who don't know, uses mega formers and they are these ridiculously difficult machines. There are springs that you can use to up the weight and your instructor leads the class verbally and walks around to correct form and tells you exactly how to do everything. Y'all, this class is as cool as it looks. You feel as cool as I look like I feel in this picture. Fast forward to late 2019. This is where I was at. And let me just say, this picture had me shook. I fell in love with myself even more in this picture. I was so proud of myself for not looking at myself and thinking, oh, I look like this, I look like this. And I just looked at myself and my first thought was, wow, look at that shelf. Who is she? I started going to the Planet Fitness in my area because again, I worked at a juice bar and was a college student, so I couldn't afford a very nice gym. This experience was so humbling in the sense that they don't have any free bars. And a lot of people would see that as a negative thing, but because of all of the bones I have broken, I was able to take a step back and realize that I was adding on weight and setting myself up to begin building weight as a beginner from scratch when I had to recognize I was lower than scratch I had broken bones and that had I had to build that up I didn't go to physical therapy for a lot of it so that was the big mistake I had to build that back up in order to be able to really build muscle evenly build it the way I wanted to and feel good while I did I my back pain was so bad my ankles would pop constantly and I would just feel stiff every time I would take a deep breath I would actually feel my spine pop and that's how tense my muscles had become because my form was just so bad. So I took a step back and this was the result of me humbling myself, lowering my weight, increasing my time under tension, and just focusing on how I feel and where I feel the engagement. Not the weight, not what I look like while I'm doing it. Sometimes I'll close my eyes during a lift to be honest. Now in 2020, here we are. Look at me holding that basketball. This was one of my favorite pictures because you can see how much my quad has grown. That ACL brace, first of all, we had it paid for by the school. If, you, if you've been injured during a, a school sport, let me know. I'll make a whole video on how we got them to pay for some stuff. This brace is a $2,500 brace. Why is it a $2,500 brace? Because the silver part right there has to be specifically molded to the measurements of your leg post-op because of the atrophy your muscle goes through. There'd be no point in having such a stable brace to practice and to grow in if it was too big and it, it was the size that you were hoping to be rather than the size that it needed to be. So that was amazing putting that on and feeling the way it felt. And it actually felt a little bit more stable. Sometimes I, I lose circulation if I do it a little too tight, but that's okay. That is what she said. Ah, oh, this one of my favorite, favorite pictures. 2020, we are catching up to the day. Uh, look at the quad, can we just talk about it? I seriously, cannot speak enough on how much nutrition and how much just consistency has opened up my mind to not only understanding more things but opening myself to understanding that I don't know what I don't know. There are some things that I probably had ideas about that I convinced myself that I knew but Sometimes if you have information come at you, I believe we all are prone to get defensive and we won't be able to take any of it in. If you recognize that you don't know what you don't know, there's no way that you're gonna look at somebody and try to fight them if you're looking in a curiosity, if you're looking in search of understanding and learning. I mean, the base of my entire goal here is to bring you guys along on my education journey and on my fitness journey while I learn more about it because I believe there's no better time to include you. There's no better time to teach anyone than when you are at your most passionate and you are at your most 
excited point when in your learning experience. So uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what else you guys would want to see. Here are a couple more pictures of how I'm doing in 2020. Seriously, thank you guys so much for sticking around. If you have any questions, I know I probably addressed so much in this video. I feel like there is so much to still be said. Please comment, please reach out to any of my socials and ask. I am such an open book, it's crazy. There's a plane! I hope I've been able to help some of you. I hope I've been able to bring a little bit of insight. And again, if you are not having a crunk freaking day, it's time to create the crunkness. I need that on a sweatshirt. I'm gonna make a sweatshirt that says it's time to create the crunkness. Let me know if you wanna see it. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.